This is Claret College of Isabella Senior High School 4th Commencement Exercises with the theme, Strengthening Educational Linkages to Learn as One Amidst the Pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, the senior high school faculty and staff. We begin the graduation ceremony with an invocation. Let us bow our heads and put ourselves in the presence of our Lord as we say, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, as we are all here to witness these momentous events for us students, I pray that you continue to be the source of our strength and courage as we prepare to graduate and progress into the next phase of our lives. With your presence and guidance, we will not be afraid as we pursue a good future because you are always here with us. Father, I thank you for being our strength and shield in every area of our lives, especially in our studies. I know that after this, more challenges are ahead of us, but I also know that your plan awaits each and every one of us. I pray that you will continue to shower your blessings upon us as we take step to the next journey of our lives. Help us face every challenges with determination and perseverance, and of course, heal us fully in mind and in body. This I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إئذن الشراط المستقيم شراط الذين أمأمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. The entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Sovereign of the day of recompense, it is you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have earned your anger or of those who are astray. Ang Pambansang Awit ng Pilipinas Jamie Maxine G. Rasonable will now give her welcome remarks. A blessed day to everyone. It gives me great pleasure and pride to have been chosen to welcome you all 
to this special and most awaited occasion of our beloved Claret College of Isabella. Despite the ongoing crisis that we are experiencing today, we still manage to gather virtually to celebrate and validate the graduation ceremony of the grade 12 students batch 2020 to 2021. This school year has been strangely different from what most of us grew into. It's really one hell of a roller coaster ride. But one thing is for sure, we did it. Despite the pandemic, the poor electric service, the unstable internet connection, and many more, we still managed to get to where we are today. Also, without the help of our parents, guardians, friends, and teachers, we may not have made it this far. They have been with us since the beginning of our journey, helping us, guiding us, and watching us grow. This graduation is not an end goal in itself. We do not stop here. It is instead just a part of a larger journey in our life. This moment should serve as a launching point, projecting us to wherever our futures are meant to take us. To my fellow graduates, I want you to know that I'm very, very proud of you. Do not be afraid of whatever is going to come your way. I believe in you and you can do this. Always remember that life is a journey and life is all about growing. Do not stop here. Continue to grow, learn, and achieve a lot of things in life. Because the future is ours and the future is us. Congratulations and may God bless us all. Once again, I would like to welcome everyone as we begin our virtual graduation ceremony. Presentation of Candidates for Graduation by Ms. Arnie A. Calago, Senior High School Principal, and Confirmation of Graduates by Sister Alesha L. Dumaboc OND, School President. Sister Alesha Dumaboc OND, President, Claret College of Isabella, Isabella City, Zamboanga Peninsula. I, Arnie A. Colago, the principal of the senior high school unit of this institution, have the honor to present to you 371 graduates, of which 27 from the Accountancy, Business, and Management, 164 from the General Academic Strand, 103 from the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics strand, and 87 from the Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood strand, who have satisfactorily completed the basic requirement of the Senior High School Curriculum of the school year 2020-2021 as prescribed by the Department of Education. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education and the Board of Trustees of Claret College of Isabella, as President of this institution, I hereby declare you graduates, Class 2020-2021. Congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the graduates of Accountancy, Business, and Management Strand, and the general academic strand.
Despite the pandemic, you made it. Congratulations. Indeed, if you have dreams and believe that your dream is beautiful and is worth striving for, one day it will become a reality. Your life in school was interrupted by this pandemic that is affecting the life of the world. Yet, it did not stop you from realizing your dream. And this is worth thanking God for, because you were given the grace to go on. And God had been faithfully loving us and protecting us all through this crisis. We are not done yet. Soon, many of you, and I hope and pray that all of you will have the opportunity to go to college. The college life would be very different. This time, you are more mature, a little more independent, and hopefully more driven to become professionals. I wish you all the best. And whatever lies ahead, let us continue to hope and pray for the better. Wherever faith may take you, don't forget that you are Clarissians and prepare to make a 
positive difference. Because you believe that knowledge is best when virtue. Once again, congratulations and God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Technical Vocational and Livelihood Strand.
Fidelis Lynn S. Tubog will now give her speech of gratitude. A wonderful and pleasant day to everyone. We have finally succeeded the challenges towards your journey in fulfilling the senior high school. Congratulations! Despite our fears and experiences amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, we stayed resilient in our studies, coupled with our high aspirations and dreams to step another ladder of challenges for our future. We made ourselves and parents proud and triumphant by exerting all of our strengths and abilities to face the struggles that came our way. We are trained to be strong and independent young individuals brave enough to venture great tasks ahead. We made ourselves ready to move towards the next stage of our academic career, and that is college education. In reality, the path of a senior high school was never an easy journey. We burned midnight candles to retain that knowledge imparted from our lessons by committed teachers and at the same time heed the importance of values and virtues that we must bring in our daily life. Our life in this institution was shaped with volatile experiences and lessons for future challenges. In our young age, we learned several values worthy to hold on in life, like the value of friendship, how to treasure each other, and the beauty to extend helping hand with our fellow students who needed our aid and support. We come from different academic strengths, STEM, ABM, or from GAS, or DVL and even adopted a blended learning scheme. But I know that difference will unbar us to realize our dreams together. Today, we stand as one family who have traveled together to reach this journey and eventually find some difficult situations over things that life confronted us. We found ourselves struggling amidst all difficulties, studying our lessons, Memorizing concepts, taking written exams, perform tasks for accomplishments, and many others. Yes, these situations transform us to a stronger version we are today. We finally got it. The uncompromised feelings we have today. How we accomplish the trials and hardships that lead us to finally Satisfaction. 
bless for our mighty Lord. Time flies so fast that we are about to leave the portal of our alma mater, since we are about to venture a big leap towards a great future awaiting us. We will now be leaving the memorable halls of our dear Third College of Isabella, as we will be entering a new environment, the life of a college student. Some of us might have fears or anxiety as to how we are going to manage ourselves when we step in college. Others might be excited since it is another journal for new beginnings. Whatever we may think and do, always remember to stay confident that we can make it. Problems do have solutions and your strength will make a difference. The seeds of knowledge and wisdom imparted by beloved Alma Mater will eventually rack a strong foundation as we embark a new chapter in our lives. Yes, we are prepared and ready to succeed in our future. Pledge of Loyalty by Yevgeny Svetlanov D. Karbayas. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. As I hold this diploma, the symbol of my modest achievement, I solemnly pledge my loyalty and deep gratitude to my instructors, to my parents and to God for having generously helped me in my studies. I promise to help my parents, honor my alma mater, Claret College of Isabella, serve my country, and render homage to the Lord. I implore God Almighty that He may give me enough strength and courage to do my duties as a responsible member of the community. I shall do my best to uphold the torch of truth and righteousness always, anywhere and at all costs, and that is my beloved country, the Philippines. The law of God may reign supreme. Let us now listen to Nixon James R. Ivanez for his closing remarks. A wonderful day to everyone. Today marks another milestone in our academic achievements. As we have successfully triumphed despite the challenges brought about by the ill effect of this worldwide pandemic. Although we are still under this dreaded COVID-19 virus, we have manifested resilience in terms of adapting the new normal vis-a-vis. -vis. The modality of learning that we have undergone during these difficult times of coping up with our health conditions. We have shown our tireless dedication, no matter what the odds may be, 
and continue to be motivated in order to aspire our objectives. One step at a time and eventually pursue the much higher goal as we expand our knowledge in the chosen field of professional education to serve as our guarantee in the future and the world that we are into. This momentous day will not be realized if not without the untiring efforts of our devoted teachers to educate us in spite the absence of face-to-face -face classes and adjust vigorously just to deliver the basic education to us. And lastly, I am much elated to say that what I become now is very much a reflection of how my parents molded and guide me through my journey as a student and as a siblings to them. Thank you, Mama and Papa. And thank you to our very dearest teachers. I would, and I would like also to thank especially to our dear school president, Sister Alicia L. Dumabok, OND, to our junior and senior high school principal, Ma'am Arnie A. Calago, and to the teachers and staffs who make this event successful. Thank you so much to my advisors and to my former grade 11 teachers, my classmates and schoolmates. Thank you very much. That will be all and may God always be our guiding strength. Stay safe and congratulations, graduates. Your praises will end.